In this video, we're going to make the first part of our app, the tables. Remember, the tables are the engine of our app. So we're going to create the data that will be displayed on our app. So let's go to the top right, click the button that says Create Workbook. And since we're going to make our project from scratch, click Start from Scratch. It's going to take some time to load. And then once we get in, click on the Home icon. And then right click the project that you see, which is called Untitled right now, and click Rename. And let's rename it to Vacation Request. So that once you make a lot of apps, you'll know that this one is for Vacation Request. Then click back on it so that we can go back to the tables. Now click on this Tables icon right over here. And right click the, the section that says Table 1 and rename it to status. So we're going to make two tables, so it's, it'd be beneficial for us to rename those tables so we know what each table is for. So we're going to rename the status because our first table is going to be the statuses that may be possible of any vacation request, which is approved, pending, and rejected. So let's delete everything except for one column because we only need one column. And let's rename this column stat let's rename this column to status because this is our status column. Now there are three things that can happen. Approved, rejected, or it could still be pending. So we're going to write those three things. And then now let's go click on tables again and let's add a new table. Add a blank table. Remember, go back onto the tables icon and rename this table so we know we know what this is for future use. Let's rename this vacation days. Or remember, there they can't be any spaces, so vacation days. And now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna display all the data that will be displayed in the app. We're gonna write all our data right over here. So basically, our app is gonna pick the data from this table and display it. So this is so basically, we want this table to display. Who wants the vacation? So the employee's name, when he wants to start the vacation, when he's going to end the vacation, what's the status, whether it's approved, rejected, or pending, like the table we created before this table, and why he wants to go. So the description. So we're going to need five columns. The first column was employee. So let's rename this to employees because there may be more employees on your team. And then click on the first one and click formats up here. When you click formats, this little this little section will pop out, and you're gonna you're so basically what we're gonna do over here is click on auto, and go to the very bottom and select contact because the employee is a contact, and basically what it, what contact is is everyone that's in your team that you've added, and we'll learn how to add people in to your team in the future, but everyone you've added when you have whenever you select a format as contact, you can see their name and email as a list and we'll actually see that so now click apply and whenever i click the arrow down now i can see that i have my name and my email because i'm the only one in my team right now but if i had added more people i would see other people so if i had bob jeff in my team i would see his name as well so let's make some dummy data so that we can display it on our app first so the name employee is among Vinayaka. Our second column is for the start date. So let's rename this to start. And if we click where we're going to start typing for our dummy data and we click formats and we go back to format column as we can see that if we scroll down, there's another type of format called date. And we're the start date is a date. So if we click apply and now whatever date we put, so let's say we say six or let's say I want to go to vacation for Christmas break. So I'm going to say 12, 15, 20, 20. And do you see how it automatically formatted itself to a date? Because we made sure that this column will format itself in as a date. Our third column is also a date because it's the end date. And so we're just going to do the same thing we did for start. We're going to click formats, change this to date, and click apply. And then let's make let's just keep on adding to our dummy data. So let's make this 12, 25. So I'm going to go for around 10 days. And then for column four, this one is going to be what our status is, whether it's pending, whether it's approved, or whether it's still is whether it's been rejected. 
We already made a table before this one. So here we're going to link the two tables. And that's one really big specialty of Honeycode. You can link different tables together. So if we click formats again, and instead of auto, we scrolled uh, the third one, actually. It's called row link. And then the next thing is a set source type. So we're basically linking two tables together. And our source type is a table because we're linking those two together. And what table is it? Well, it's status. And good thing we renamed it so it's easy for us to pick status. Now, if we click apply, you can see how that there's there is a downward arrow. Now, whenever I click on it, it's picking up that table and showing me the options. So now I can just pick one of these three. So if I click if I click pick rejected, now I can see how the rejected status has been applied to this to this uh, dummy data. Our fifth column is our description. Description. This is basically why our employee is going on vacation. And we don't need to do any formatting because on auto, it's basically plain text. So we can just, for dummy data purposes, we can just write something as to why I'm going to vacation during Christmas break. So I'll be like, it. I am going to visit my family. So we just created our first our first dummy data. We have our employees and we made this we made sure this is contact our formats contact so that if we have more people on our team you'll be able to see them as well. Our start date which our format is date so that whenever you write something it'll format it to the date. Same thing with end. Our status we row linked it so we linked this table to another table. So we can just pick the options from that table. The description is to, uh, why we're going, and this is just plain text, no formatting at all. Now, let's make some more dummy data so that when we're creating our app, it'll get a, it will be able to use all of this to display. Now we have basically created our tables and we can delete this last row because we don't need it right now. So we have four rows. Our first row is our titles and we have two tables. One's the status table and one is the vacation days table. And we've linked the two tables together and we've got all the data we need. Now we just have to make our app and make all those automations happen. So whenever someone adds a request, it'll automatically add a row in this table. And for some reason, this last line went away, so I'll add it back. So I am traveling to Arizona. And when I click enter, then I'll delete this row really quickly. And we are good. So in the next video, we'll go over creating our app using the builder.